Hi everybody, this is Mr. Wells here for lab number two, reflection of light. So different materials reflect light differently. Um, this is the reason that in the winter we try to wear darker colors because darker colors absorb more light. Um, the amount of light that's reflected off of a surface is known as albedo. So albedo is the concept we're going to be studying in this lab. For materials for this lab, we're going to need a light bulb, uh, preferably a 100 watt light bulb. We do have 150 light bulbs that we can use. It might heat up the paper just a little bit too much, but that's okay. Um, if we run out of 100 light bulbs, don't hesitate to use a 150 watt. We're going to need a light socket, a ring stand to hang up our light. We're going to need a light hood. We're also going to need a Floor One camera for this lab. Floor One camera. Make sure that the adapter that attaches to it is on the Floor One device. If not, just ask me and I can give you a new uh, adapter. That's just so um, you can plug it into your iPad um, without having to take off the case. Um, we can start setting up the lab right away. I'm just going to hook my ring stand up like so. I'll screw on my light socket onto the hood first before I hang anything up. Make sure that it's in nice and tight, otherwise it might fall out in the middle of your experiment. That wouldn't be great. And then I'm going to screw on the light bulb. One more quick thing. I want to have uh, the base of my light at about 30 centimeters. So I'm going to take a half meter stick here and it looks like I'm going to have to raise my stand just a little bit here. Excellent. We want to do that just to make sure it doesn't heat up too much. If you haven't downloaded the Fleur One app yet, you can go into, this is our iTunes U course, we'll go into materials, apps, uh, you're going to want to download the Fleur One app for this lab. So Fleur One lab, app, you'll get to a home page here. Um, it's probably going to ask you a couple times when you plug in the camera the first time to um, allow your iPad to access the camera. Please hit allow access, otherwise you're going to have some problems uh, getting the camera connected to the iPad. So I'm going to plug my camera right into the lightning port, your charging port of your iPad. Make sure it snaps in. And it might take a second or two to get in. Should look like this. Nice thermal camera image. Okay, for, so for the first part of this experiment, we're going to use black and white paper. You want to set this down so that the paper, the middle of the black and white paper, right where they meet, is right in the middle of the light here. So you may have to eyeball it a little bit, but you want it to be right in the middle here. Alrighty, so once I have my paper set up, I'm going to want to take my initial picture. So make sure you aim down the middle of the picture right here. You have to make sure to hit this crosshair. Make sure your degrees are in Celsius. You can do that in the menu if your uh, temperature initiates in Fahrenheit. I'm going to want to aim right down the middle here. Before I do anything, I'm going to want to calibrate. And then I'm going to go down here and take a picture. So you're going to take one picture before you turn your light on. And now, I'm going to turn the light on. And you're going to let the light run for about one minute. Okay, so about a minute later, I'm going to quickly align my picture up like this again. I'm going to calibrate. 
And then I'm gonna take my final picture. So this is after a minute of running both pieces of paper under heat. All right, once I've gotten both of my pictures taken, I've gotten the light turned off. I'm gonna go into my pictures setting so I can view my before and after pictures. If you're not sure which paper is which, you can also just drag down. So I've got my black paper, white paper. These are the thermal images. Black paper, white paper. So this is my before and after. If I click this pencil button, it actually lets me move my crosshair around. So you can see temperatures at um, different times. So this is my before picture. I would uh, spend a little bit looking around, trying to get a good average um, for your temperature. So I'm getting a lot of 28.8, 28.6, 20 28.7. Let's say 28.7. So it, I'll write that down as my initial temperature for the white paper. This is the white paper on the right side here. And if I move over here, 28.6, it's about the same. And that totally makes sense because this was before we ran it under light. So they should be almost exactly the same temperature. So if I do the same thing to my final picture, um, looks like I have a lot more variation. Um, 30.4, 31.4. I'm going to say you're going to want to focus more on the middle area here where the light was. Um, I'm going to say 31.0 is probably a good average for my white paper. Um, so I'll write that down as my final temperature. Over here, we're looking at a lot hotter on the black paper, 32, 30, 32 to 30, almost 35 over here. I'd spend some time with this, but I would say a good average is right around 34 degrees. So on the right-hand column of the table you're filling out um, for each of the trials you're gonna do, it also asks to find reflectivity. We're gonna do that um, using our lab quest and using a new sensor, um, you're looking for a vernier light sensor. So it looks like this. This will plug right in to your LabQuest device. And so the units are going to be in lux. Um, we're measuring the reflectivity of all of the pieces of paper that we're going to analyze. So to do that, all you have to do, we'll just you start with the white paper, put it directly under the light bulb, turn it on, and we're gonna hold this light sensor about an inch to two or three inches away. Um, as long as you're consistent when you're comparing papers, that doesn't really matter, but we're gonna hold, I'm gonna hold it about an inch and a half, two inches away. And it looks like I'm reading about uh, 2,300 lux. So it's gonna move around kind of like crazy like that. Just um, take an average value based off of what you're seeing. I'll say 2,300. Turn your light off. We'll switch out the, uh, to the black paper or to whatever paper you're gonna be using in the um, future parts of this lab. Turn the light on, let it sit for a second. I'll take a reading of this. It's much, much lower, holding it about an inch away. Getting about 400 lux. And that just means the reflectivity, obviously, for the white paper is significantly higher than the black paper. Um, so you're going to be comparing other pieces of paper. We've got tons of different types of construction paper. So what I want you to do for the rest of this lab, um, pick a couple different colors of paper and compare them for the next two um, tables. And that'll be the procedure for the lab. Oh, Professor Rex, thanks for helping me clean up again. 
Let me know if you have any questions on the procedure. This was our reflectivity of light lab. Thank you.